This is my review for a TV show, TV show, for a TV movie. It was on Lifetime on Saturday. It was called The Simone Biles The Recurs to Store. We all know Simone Biles is an Olympic gymnast, and she was on the, was it 2016 they won? I think it was yeah, 2016 that they won the Olympics, her and the other four girls, and she won some stuff in the singles as well. But this is like her little story. We had a Gappy Douglas story that came out um, a couple years ago. And my nose still runs for some damn reason. Which is the same cold I had a couple weeks ago. But, um, yeah. So, this is her story and everything. And I feel like this the movie wasn't bad. Like, it, it was a good movie. However, I do... Think it was born. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, I'm like, did I say that already? Um, if you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Um, you hit the little subscribe button, and then you can also always hit the little notification ding button. It's the little bell next to subscribe. It just lets you know when I have new videos up, and that's about it. But yeah, as I was saying. I felt it was boring. They had the movie on. The movie was two hours. And then they had the little biography of her. That was the hour that came on after it. I felt like the biography little special was more entertaining than the movie. And I feel like the movie was like a cookie cutter edition of things. Um, and watching it, I honestly felt like... Um, and I do not want this to come out the wrong way. I feel like her story was regular. Like, she lived the life of any other normal person. Um, and she just became a gymnast. I feel like, you know, there are plenty of people whose parents um, was on drugs. And they had to be taken in by family members. I feel like that comes from my forehead. I feel like, you know, the struggles of being a teenager and being in sports is very typical. And I just wish they would have just made it more... It's like the movie just wasn't interesting. Like, I don't want them to, like, make up stuff and make anything fake, not at all. But I feel like the way the the tone of the movie was just, like, kind of one note. Like, you know, you know, because the beginning starts off, we see that she has three siblings and, you know, they're placed in foster care. Her mother was on drugs and initially the older sister, who was a kid herself, was taking care of the younger three. But then, you know, the mom kept being on drugs. So they ended up going to foster care. And then from there, their mother's father, their grandfather, kind of had them for a little bit, for like maybe a year. And the father was played by... But uh, Viola Davis's husband, Julius, which I thought was cool. And their grandmother was played by uh, Tisha Campbell Martin, from, which I thought was cool, too. And the grandfather takes them in, basically, and did it so that their his daughter could get better. And then you basically get custody back of the kids instead of having them, like, in continual foster care. So that was one thing. And... The, the grandmother, Tisha Campbell's character, was actually, like, the step-grandmother, meaning she was just the husband's second wife. That meaning she's any less of a grandparent. I just wanted to bring up that, cause, meaning she wasn't the birth mother of Simone's mom, basically. So, the kids, the kids come in to live, you know, with the four kids. The grandparents already had two older boys who were still, like, younger, but still, you know, not kid-kids and everything. And, you know, it's a whole, it was like an easy transition. It showed them coming to the house, them being so happy. You know, Simone loving jump, jumping on a trampoline. Um, there were the three kids. Simone was like three or four. But then like a new baby. Like a baby was like a couple months old, like four or five months old or whatever. So it was crazy to see a transition of we go from having two like teenage boys to having these four kids in the house who are all probably like 13 and younger. 
you know, come in, and meaning that Grandma, Tisha Campbell's character, had to basically start over and be a mother to a new, like a base, like a new, a newborn baby, and you know, but it seemed as if it was a good transition. You know, from there we see how the mother comes to visit. She sings better. The two older kids like want to go back home, where Simone kind of like standoffish because she don't really know the mom because she's so young. All she really knows is her grandparents, and you know she kind of isn't happy she's there, so she's kind of just like, you know, hey lady or whatever. And you know we see how the two, well the oldest daughter, was like asking the grandparent like, you know, we want to go back and live with mom. She's better now. And you're like, we can see, you know, we'll talk about it later. And then his wife, Grandma, is upset. Like, you know, you can't possibly think it's better for them kids to be with her. You know, she just got sober. Not sober. She just got clean. We found out she was on crack. She just got clean. You know, having four children can mess, mess with a person's sobriety. Maybe we should wait until she's been sober and clean longer. But, you know, like we see the kids go back with the mom. And... Because he, like, you know, the plan was always to have them go back with their mother. So, you know, we have to see what it's going to be. And I'm like, well, okay. So when they leave to go back, we see how Simone kind of isn't happy about that. Mainly because she's so young that she doesn't remember her mother. Um, and then we see, like, maybe, like, so the kids go back. And it's maybe, like, a year later. And the grandparent is back again. And the mom is still on drugs. She's not passing. Like, they had her taking, like, mandatory drug tests. And she kept failing because she couldn't stay clean. And so the judge is trying to be like, okay, we need a more permanent solution for these kids because the mom can't take care of them. So her mother actually lost custody like she lost her uh, parental rights. So I'm like, well, damn, that's crazy. And, you know, so the grandparent, well, the grandfather comes and the two older ones who wanted to be with their mom ended up being adopted by the grandfather's sister. So the two older kids were adopted by their great aunt, where the two younger ones, Simone and her little sister, were adopted by her grandparents. And so the kids were split up in two separate households. And the one weird part about the movie is throughout the whole movie, you they don't mention her birth mother. They don't mention her other two siblings. And I always feel like it's weird when siblings are separated but they aren't raised as siblings, so to speak. It seemed like, because from there, we see how Simone and the little sister are taken, are, are taken, in, taken by the grandparents. And we see the grandparents, like, officially adopt both the daughters as their children, children. And at that point, Simone and the other sister start calling their grandparents mom and dad. Because again, they're, they're like five or six or whatever. They're, they're really young. Um, but again, like throughout the whole movie, you don't see them mention the mom. You don't hear or see her with the her other siblings. You don't see her like if she go visit them at all. Like it was strictly her life with her parents now. Grandparents are parents now. And her little sister and the two brothers that they're all one family or whatever. So that was the whole thing. And then the rest of the movie was literally about, you know, she went to a gym, started doing some tumbling, started doing some flipping. And, you know, one of the coaches saw her and thought she was amazing and realized that she had had any training and she was really good. And that was the whole thing. It was her just loving doing it and her getting better and better and better and her working her way towards being a better gymnast then wanting to be a gymnast then wanting to be you know be on different the, the, the u.s team it was that but i feel like there wasn't anything in between it was literally just her practicing getting better to be on a team and she was great as she was younger i did like how they had when they went from her being a kid to, for her being like five or six to her being like a teenager like for like six years or whatever and they showed footage of her practicing they used the real footage of simone so you can see her back then and how good she was how fast she was how elegant she was as she got older and got better and got better but they still needed her to get to that Olympic level. So you know how she f met her first coach, 
how she would win things, how she would lose things, how she would fall and get scared and have to get back up. At one point, she kept losing, losing, losing. And the parents wanted to, like, fire the coach because they thought the coach could only take her so far. And the coach was like, no, we can just bring people in to help her because, you know, we don't want to give up on her. But, again, I felt like the movie was just kind of one note. And, you know, the typical trials and tribulation of a, of a teenager. And there was one, well, there were, like, two scenes. There was twice. There was one time when she had to choose between... You know, if you want to be a gymnast, if you want to go to the Olympics and be on this national team, you know, the hours you need to practice, they had her practicing like 32 hours a week. And they're like, the, the hours that she would need to practice, she wouldn't be able to miss that kind of time in school. So, like, you know, your only other option is homeschool. She didn't want to be homeschooled. She wanted to be in high school with her friends and be normal. And it was like, you know, if you really want to be a gymnast, you can't, you can't go to school because you can't miss that much time. So the only other option is homeschool. And then there's a second time where she was finishing school and she was thinking about going to college. And it was a, a thing of, okay, if you go to college and you get a scholarship for being a gymnast, the sponsorship that you're getting from companies, you can't have them both. You can't be in college on a scholarship playing for that team and also getting, getting sponsorships from advertisers. You can't do them both because it's against NCAA, NCAA rules. And she did like that. So it was a thing of her wanting something and thinking, hmm, this isn't fair. Why do I have to choose? And I was just like, okay, I guess. But again, I was like, it was, and it was weird. Like, even the way she was saying, like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm having to choose again. And I was like, I just felt like it was a better way to show how she felt. I felt like the person where they had player did a great job. Don't get me wrong. She did a really great job. But I think at some points, I wish there was more emotion from her or like a different emotion. Like, Because if you're frustrated, I felt like the way that she was upset to me was more entitled child than upset athlete. You know what I'm saying? It was just weird. But as we know, she made it to the end. She became an Olympian. She's going to be in the 2020. She's trying to go to the 2020 Olympics and she'll be, they say she'll be 23 at the time, which is kind of unheard of. I guess they say how women peak when they are in middle school and high school and men peak when they're later on, like when they're, like when they're 20 and over. So for her being kind of an older girl, it might be difficult. She had like a little a shoulder injury. Um, so that was kind of, you know, they were saying how that would be something to deal with too. But again, I mean, the movie was entertaining, you know, to watch. But at the same time, I just felt like it was one note. You know what I'm saying? The whole thing was, I don't know. I just, you know, if you don't know anything about her, you know, it's a cool thing to watch because I didn't know, I didn't know that she was adopted. I didn't know her mother was on crack. I, hell, I didn't know, just the things, I didn't know things. So it's cool if you want to know things about her. But for me personally, I didn't find the movie as entertaining as I thought it would be. Or just, I just wanted more emotion from I think Tisha Campbell Martin did a great job playing the mom where they showed the mom on the on uh, the biography that came on afterwards. I'm like, oh, they do favor. I'm like, okay, I get why they picked her as the person. The person they picked to play Simone did look like her, so they did really great casting. And again, I don't think anyone did a bad job. I just felt like the movie was like, eh, you know, because like I was watching it and I only paid t attention to it because I was taking notes to talk about it, but it just it didn't catch me like oh my god I want to get to the end and see what the thing is I was just like oh okay whatever and, and I'm when I'm up on my guard whatever and then I when I, I watched the biography just because I'm like I just want to see what those, those gonna set, talk about and I was like well hell this is more entertaining than the movie was and it was only an hour I'm like now that was the good stuff you know they brought up how she was like very bratty um at one point in time they brought up how she had ADHD um and they kind of brought it up a little bit in the movie but not to the effect of how they had her tested for it or whatever, if they didn't do any of that. You know, they brought up how she had an issue, um, because she had an issue staying focused. And they was like, she thought she was crazy, and she was like, I don't, you know, I'm not crazy or whatever. So that was her, like, kind of acting out and everything. Um, and just her, you know, 
I don't know. It was what it was. So, it was, they show, I don't know. If you guys haven't seen it, you know, check it out. Because, again, if you don't know anything about her, it is, that part is interesting. But the movie kind of just fell flat for me. Um... And I don't know what else they could have done. Because, again, I don't want them to make up anything. I don't want them to fabricate anything about her. I just felt like it was just blah. The whole thing. Like, it was like a steady. Like, nothing was like, oh, my God. Or, oh. I didn't have any of those moments. I was like, okay. Yeah. 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 So, again, that was my review of the movie. But I do think people should watch it. But, again, don't watch it thinking it's going to be like this oh, so amazing movie you know it was good it was cool it was you know it wasn't bad you know i'm happy they made it not mad at it but anywho i am jaylee this is jaylee's corner i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like my page like my page lord jesus to subscribe to my channel also hit the little the notification bell ding the mail the bell ding the notification bell to let you know when i have new videos up and again the movie was on Lifetime. It was called The Simone Biles Story. It is worth watching. Let me say that. I don't like, oh my gosh, she was saying it was bad. It's not a bad movie. Just, I like to be entertained. I like to go through different emotion. And that's what it is. Like, I didn't go through any different kind of emotion watching the movie. That's what it was. I wasn't like happy, sad. Oh, I just kind of felt like, okay, it's a movie. Okay, that's what it was. I it didn't it didn't make me feel anything like watching it. I was proud of what she went through. I'm I was happy that she was able to come from a little girl whose mother was addicted to crack, and she became an Olympian. That is a fantastic story, true, but the movie about it didn't make me feel anything. So yeah, that's what it was. So yay! Anywho. I hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time, I am Jay Lee. This is Jay's Corner. Peace.